What's going on guys? I know it has been a minute since I've been on here doing any of these consistent vlogs, which I am extremely sorry about. Look at that view. Man, uh, it has been absolutely crazy the last couple years. Two new baby girls, multiple businesses, and uh, throwing in a couple fights here and there too. So it's been crazy, but I promise my goal this year is to try to get more consistent with YouTube like I used to do. Um, doing a lot more filming for each one of my hunts and then just doing some daily life stuff. So I thought what better way to start this back off than to show you guys my 1965 Chevy that I just got a couple, it's been about a year and a half now. Um, story about this truck. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna show you guys. Here we go. So growing up, my dad had a truck just like this, um, but it was red. We called it the red truck. His was a GMC though. That was our daily driver, his daily driver. So we basically went hunting in that, camping in that. We did pretty much everything. He drove to work, took us to school, whatever it may be. Uh, and so I had so many good memories in that truck. And I always said, uh, when I got older, if it was financially uh, available to me, I would love to try to find something just like that and have and possibly pass down to my girls. So I hit up my buddy, Phil, great friend of mine, is big in the, the car and truck scene. I said, Phil, this is what I'm looking for. If you see anything or come across it, let me know. Not very long after, Phil hits me up and he's like, I found it, bro. So. I can't thank you enough, Phil. Thank you. Phil owns a company, LG Billet USA, and they actually made some cool stuff for this truck. I'll show you guys here in a bit. But man, this is this is now my baby. I freaking love this truck. We just I just got it back from my boys down in Sacramento at uh, LS Pros. These guys did a few things on the suspension for me, kind of lighten some stuff up. I'm gonna go over everything right now. All right. So first of all, we did some major upgrades on the interior. Did some headliner, carpet. We put Dakota Digital dashboard, which is really nice. I upgraded the headlights. We put a sound system in it. So we got a touch screen there. We did some custom kick panels here. The speakers, added some seat belts. Obviously needed those so I could take my daughters, lock their car seats and stuff in. Another thing we did too, which is pretty cool. We added AC and heat and kept these uh, old gauges here to kind of run the whole thing super cool but it's nice here in northern cali with the heat during the summer and uh, some cold weather warms up in here super quick added a new steering wheel tilt steering wheel column and the wheel um, but this is something one of the things my buddy phil his company makes lg billet this is cool a cool shifter they did for me like that and then they also did something under the hood which i'll show you guys in a sec but that's pretty much the interior uh, me and my pops ended up putting that single pane window in it did have the sliders in it uh, i just both of us thought it looked way cleaner having the single single glass in it so let's get to the good stuff under the hood all right so what we did here this is the this is the LG Billet USA piece my buddy Phil's company made also. These things are awesome. Battery, the battery harness right there. What we did in here is an LS3 swap. So this sucker is running, I think it was about 540 horsepower. We got a bigger brake booster. Um, our other truck has disc brakes and this thing's all drum and this thing stops way better. I'm, I'm just the combo of everything that we put with the vacuum and um, this pump, everything run runs smooth and this thing stops on a dime, which is nice. Might be a little bit overkill for this truck, but you never, never have too much power, right? <laughs> we swapped the gas tank from here under the bed here, which is nice. All right, another thing, we just added some new lockers on this. Um, and then we did, let's crawl under here, some new Bilstein shocks. Um, one of the things we just did down at LS Pros is we took one of the leaves out and did a, a reverse bend on those. Basically just to soften up um, the ride. This thing was pretty bouncy. And this, after getting it back, this, I just got it about an hour ago. And it's like butter on the highway now. So that's nice. Uh, obviously upgrade to the tranny. Um, we rebuilt the entire transfer case. You guys can see it there and added some bracing in 
just because <laughs> with all that torque that thing was uh, twisting all over the place when you put a load on it so uh that's all locked in now upgraded the exhaust new uh you guys can see that down there new gas tank and all new lines uh oh i did re i rebuilt the rear end too and just kind of beefed that up a little bit needed much needed with that extra power added so me and my pops just blacked out this front this was a chrome bumper he actually had that blacked out bumper from one of his trucks and we just did a swap uh, i thought it turned out pretty good i like i like the look you got a little bit of chrome accent still but not anything too overwhelming with it but there she is guys my baby absolutely love this truck again i'm gonna Probably end up passing this down to one of my girls. We also have a 52 GMC that I'll show you guys next. That's pretty cool. Our, my buddy, one of our clients, Fins and Feathers clients, him and his pops, Chevy is his name. They completely restored it. So we'll probably do that one next. All right, guys, I know that was super quick. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown, uh, at least get you some content. I, I love this truck. Just wanted to share it with you guys uh, and just, Kind of go over all the stuff that we just finished wrapping up over the last year and a half so she is ready to rock on the road i'm excited to get her out more and more we got obviously some weather still kind of here in northern california kicking in and off so i don't get the driver a ton right now but uh, soon we will be back in action hope you guys enjoy it i'll catch you on the next one see ya Troy, Taylor, you to go straight from the ATC down here we do things differently it's a little country and a little street and it's hot as hell but we still roll with heat we do everything cause ain't a thing to do cross me get stomped out by some Georgia boots I got some homies in the sticks and I got bulls with the sticks pulling up in trucks and 20